Today, I really want to talk about something like comfort and food. Finding comfort in food is okay. A lot of people kind of think that, no, that's so bad because you'll build a bad relationship with food, and da, 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 blah, blah, blah. That's mm-hmm. bad, bad, bad. Now that in itself is a bad relationship with food. Yeah. Because honestly, it's okay to lean on food as a comfort because food is a lot of the basis of growing up. It's your culture. For some people, it's their identity. For others, it's like just moments in life. Yeah, I feel like, like, do you know, do you know, like reasons why people have bad relationships with food? Yes, there's a lot. (laughs) Because, like, I've recently, like, I mean, I, I, not until, like. Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Diet culture. Diet culture as in, oh, like, that, in general? A, yes. Because I, I didn't really notice it, diet, like, people having bad relationships with food till like, you tell it, talking about it and mm-hmm. whatnot. But so many people have such a bad relationship with food. Like, when I talk to parents, so recently I had a really young child um, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And mom comes to me and she's extremely overwhelmed and she doesn't know what to do. And she's like pretty much like in like, she's very shooken up and she's like, I don't know what to do. Um, so ever since we went home X, Y, and Z, I've been doing this, I've been hiding food. And I'm like, you can't hide food from your child because hiding food means that's now forbidden. And then that child's going to kind of be like curious about it. Be like, what is uh... that? And it's just like that curious, my natural human instinct to be like, well, you're saying it's a no, no. So that's what I'm, I'm, it's a go, go for me. Uh, And then she pointed out herself. She's like, oh my gosh, I noticed that now my child will like before didn't even care about this food item, but now would like hide and eat it in a corner. (laughs) (laughs) You're giggling. But I was just like, I'm giggling because that's me. (laughs) Because our parents didn't let us eat candy. So, uh-huh. you know, we did. <laughs> oh my God. My parents didn't let us, like, they restricted, like, candy, soda. So, like, like we didn't have soda till, like, I, I want to say we we're, like, eight or nine years old uh-huh. at, like, our grandparents' house or, like, a cousin's house. Mm. And we were just like, what is this fizzy, godly juice? <laughs> and, and, like, so, but we, that was the only time. So, we look forward to going to our, like, our cousin's house to, drink yeah. soda like my sister has told me about that where um she taught at a school where parents had a lot of it was a more affluent school so uh-huh. parents had a lot of <clears throat> dietary restrictions for their kids and this one kid has never tried like soda or anything like that and somebody in the class brought like martinelli's uh, sparkling cider or apple cider uh-huh. and she like wanted some and looked at her mom and was like, mom, can I? And then mom was like, sure, why not? And this kid went ham. Like she like, drank the whole bottle. She started swigging. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's where it stems. Mm. Like bad relationships with food stems from like control over food. So who has control over food? But you know the candy thing you said? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyways, we, we weren't able to eat candy. Uh-huh. So on Halloween, <laughs> we would like. We would like we'd have hella candy. Like uh-huh. we would hit up the neighborhood, but then my parents would usually like hide the bag yeah. somewhere. So like, okay, you could only eat like one candy a day or like yeah. certain times. We would hide. We 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 would um, we would, there was all a bunch of junk under our bed, uh-huh. right? Like old magazines, like all this like boxes. So what we'd do is we'd make the boxes. We push it to the edges uh-huh. of the under the bed so that there is this like little like like fort under the bed uh-huh. so we would uh throw all the candy under there <laughs> and then we would go under the bed we'd move one of the box or actually we would like oh go gosh. we'd go from the side and we'd go under the bed and then we'd just eat candy under the bed <laughs> <laughs> so no one would know i don't oh think anybody knows gosh. this until just now <laughs> oh my god now the whole world knows your mom's gonna hear this and you're gonna be in trouble. So if there is ever ants in our room, <laughs> that is why. <laughs> this is so bad. So, anyways, so it's kind of like the forbidden fruit mm-hmm. thing where it's like that's forbidden now. It's like the only thing you want, the 
only thing that will satisfy your like craving your curiosity yeah it's to like kind of you as a parent accidentally put something a food item on a pedestal uh, like making this like ooh, yeah this is more special than everything else that you eat so now that becomes the main focus and then mm. kids um as they grow up especially at a certain age they start to develop an independence and the only way and the only thing you can really control as a kid, because mom and dad controls everything, is whether or not you eat, right? Yeah. Like, they can't, like, shove something down your mouth and you have the choice to chew and swallow uh -huh. or spit out or not eat it. And mm -hmm. so sometimes kids learn that they have control over their food, and so when you develop these kinds, it's like a lot of it is psychological. So it's very difficult to go into because there's so many things because that's where um, like disordered eating comes from. That's where just like bad relationships with food comes from. Does this also yes. like kind of like the other week we talked about the COVID-19 pounds. Is yeah. this Is that also kind of like similar to when you know kid becomes independent mm -hmm. now they're like oh i get to eat all these things yeah. that I, my parents never let me eat yeah exactly eat it's the same concept. candy for breakfast lunch and dinner yeah. under my bed <laughs> <laughs> i hope not okay on my bed this time <laughs> oh my gosh yes 